Hi, I'm Gabe Chapa, an Applications Instructor with New Horizons. I'm here today to share a tip with you from our Lean Six Sigma courses. Today's tip is how to create a SIPOC. A SIPOC is a type of high-level process map. So to make a SIPOC, think about what a process is. A process is nothing more than a series of steps that have a definitive starting point, a definitive ending point, and steps that you follow along the way in a certain sequence that lead to some sort of an output, whether it's a product or a service. So today, we're gonna to talk about me making scrambled eggs for my daughter. So I always begin with the actual process steps themselves. I number them in order of sequence, right? Because every process has a definitive starting point, a definitive ending point, and steps that you follow along the way that lead to an output of some kind, either a product or a service. Now, the process for making eggs for my daughter is as follows. First, I'm going to gather the ingredients. Second, I'm going to prepare the eggs. Third, heat the pan. Fourth, cook the eggs to taste. Fifth, plate the eggs. And finally, sixth, serve the eggs. Since it's this high level, no details are needed. There's no measurements, no time constraints, nothing. Just the actual steps for the process. So the output of my process is actually a plate of eggs. Now, in order to ensure that I'm doing this properly, I need to make sure I have all of the right ingredients. That's what the inputs are. I need to have everything necessary to make the process work. So what were my inputs here? Eggs, butter, pan, stove, spatula, seasonings, and ketchup. The suppliers is where did I get those inputs from to make that process possible? The grocery store my kitchen, and of course, the request for breakfast from my daughter. So my customer, in this case, is also the supplier for this process to happen. And the customer is my daughter and me, because I too might want some of those eggs. Now you'll notice on the far right there's a requirements column. In my courses, I like to talk about what does the customer really want? We call that the voice of the customer. So what does that mean? For the process to be successful in the eyes of the customer, in this case, my daughter, her requirements are the eggs have to be scrambled, they've got to be hot, and they have to be served with ketchup. The main reason for making side pots, it's a high-level process map. And the goal of a high-level process map is to get everybody looking at the process the same way, which is often one of the biggest challenges in process improvement. In the New Horizons Lean Six Sigma Green Belt course, you will learn about the five phases of a project. Those five phases are the define phase, where you establish your problem and look at the scope of the effort for the project. In the measure phase, you establish the baseline for your problem and brainstorm potential root causes. In the analyze phase, you whittle down those root causes to the critical few, the ones that if you change them will have the greatest impact on your project. In the improve phase, you develop the solution for the problem. In the control phase, we implement the solution and put in place steps to maintain the gains from the project. Today's tip was from our New Horizons Lean Six Sigma courses. If you found this tip useful, click the like button below and subscribe. If you're interested in taking this course, click the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you in one of my classes.